ชั้นเต็มมาสติเมียโดมีนิวะคันออยังเกเฮเจออมาวะปีเปโรวะคันทวนดะโคตะหิมาชะกาเปเดโอตะโอทุเอเตเจออิมาชะเฮโดนะก
he near you, but you can't grab it, and ga over there. That could be really far, it could be just over there. So de he ga. All right? So, and again, listen to I ask the question. De daku he. He daku he. Ga daku he. I don't say de daku he. That's not Dakota. That's that's what she do. De daku he. He daku he. Ga daku he. Okay? So, those are questions. <clears throat> so, you have de he ga. So, how would you how would if I was sitting next to a speaker? And I said, what is this? There, so. Hecha, it is. So. If I said, de taco, he. What is this? It's an eraser. So, eraser is ipa juju or we pa juju. I'll just say ipa juju or yes, ipa juju. <laughs> but the speaker would say he ipa juju he chado. He ipa juju he chado. That is an eraser. See, so I'm asking de taku he. What is this? And they're going to say, that is an eraser. He ipajuju he chado. Okay. <clears throat> now, if I, if I gave it, if I said de daku he and I gave it to him. So, this is a marker. Wioa, de wioa he cha. This is a marker. De wioa hechado. Okay? But if I was asking a speaker, de daku he, and I gave it to them, and now they had it, they would say de. De wioa hechado. See? De he ga. So typically when you say de daku he, what is this? And the speaker is over there, they're going to say he, that. I'm just trying to get the the, the spatial relationship down for you here. So, de, within your reach, he, just out of your reach or near you, and ga, over there. So, let's uh, do one with ga. <clears throat> so, uh, this was a conversation in Washichu, but um, I was with <laughs> I was with my friend Dennis Jones in Montana. We were doing a language visit out to the Shinahota um, Oyate, the Blackfeet out there. And um, I was driving, and uh, you know, as I'm getting older, I need Ishtamaza glasses. And anyway, I saw something crossing the road, and, and so in Dakota, we said, "Hesh, hesh, unkanka hecha he gadaku he." Ga, ga daku he. What is that over there? What is that way over there? He shung tanka he cha he. I said, is that a horse? He shung tanka he cha he. My my friend, Ojibwe friend, in English, but of course, if he was speaking Dakota, he what he looked at me funny and he said, he ta he cha or ga ta he cha. Ga ta he cha. Ga ta he cha do. That's a moose. So, ga, way over there. Ga taku he, ga ta he cha. What is that way over there? That's a moose. So there was a moose crossing the road. Bullwinkle at Chiapido. Oh, okay. So, <clears throat> if you are a student and you're learning and you don't want to use English and you're trying to go around naming stuff, this is, this is, this is one way you can do it. There's another way. All right, so I'll bring those back for review Yay. Right. 
So if we want to know how to say something in Dakota, how do you say this in Dakota? Okay. Uh, I don't like to give too much variation, like give you multiple words for one thing or one phrase. I kind of like to keep it simple here, but I'll give you a couple of variations here. Okay. So, Dakota Dokid So Dakotia Dakotia Dokid Dokreapse Pen Dakotia Dokreapse Pen And then we just say you know whatever it is Weowa Dakotia Dokreapse Cup Yo Cup Dakotia dokreapse computer. We study it. Dakotia dokreapse car. Yechen kopte. Dakotia dokreapse fry bread. Achoyapi chehuhuyapi. That's a good one. Achoyapi chehuhuyapi. That has that ha sound that I was talking about, like in kope. So that's one way. Dakotia dokreapse and then whatever it is. Another way. Dakota, Dakota, Dokid, I mean, it's, it's, it's very little difference. This was the first way I learned it. <clears throat> But I started hearing this a lot, so I kind of switched over. But this, these are both still uh, Minnesota Dakota. So this is how you'd say this over here. Dakota Dokreapihe, Shu, Hampa. Dakota Dokreapihe, Shirt, Ucha Upi. Okay. And another one. <coughs> uh, if you're hearing a speaker talk and you get caught up on a word, like, let's say there's something and, you know, they say, you know, um, you know, Watakia uh, Ohanawa And you're like, what is Watakia? How do I ask in Dakota, what does that mean? What does that Dakota word mean? So whatever the word is, so, he. Daku ka. Oh, kind of running out of room here. Watakia. Watakia is an airplane. Watakia. He taku ka. Kaish. Watakia. Taku ka. Watakia. Taku ka. 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 Like cut, but ka. Watakia. He taku ka. Watakia. Taku ka. So whatever word it is that you want to know that you hear in Dakota, hampa hetaku kaha, itoshkanshka hetaku kaha, kanhiwe chashta hetaku kaha, unze hetaku kaha. Oh, okay. All right. So, um, or, or another. So, again, whatever it is, he daku. Ka he or he daku kapi he he daku kapi he. What do they mean by that, or what does that mean? It, either way is fine. He daku ka he he daku kapi he. Okay, so <clears throat> just some little uh, helping you with your with your. Let me see if I can get. Both of these in the picture here. All right. So again, how do you ask a, an, an object in English? Dakotia dokreapse computer, or Dakotia dokreapi he pants, or pantses. Some people say pantses. 
I don't know why. Okay. <clears throat> or the Dakota word. You're hearing them and you're like, or okay so there's that and just to back up again and then whatever hecha hecha it is a whatever so we study a little computer. We study a chistida. Te taku he de we study a chistida hechado. Okay. All right. <coughs> All right. So, um, just kind of sticking with basics, I uh, wanted to talk about colors tonight. So, colors and modes of transportation and hopefully I will um, have time to talk about uh, going places because in Dakota uh, we have a lot of a lot of verbs a lot of action words for movement for moving around for mobility and um, <coughs> there are some that we use more than others and uh, I'm gonna go over a little list here and it's not the complete list, but it's the most uh, frequently used. So I would say, and of course, this is aimed at um, beginners and, and intermediate, but uh, these are the ones that you're going to hear the most that uh, I will get to tonight. Okay, so colors. And I'm going to go through these and then back up a little bit and talk about a few of them because... Um, not, uh, not, well, I'll talk about why. So, all right. Now, I don't know how well you'll be able to, let's do this here. Don't know how well you'll be able to see this. So I'm just going to say it. I'm going to say the color and I'll translate it. Okay. So, Sha. Sha, red. Okay. Sha, red. Sapa. Sapa, black. Machpiato. Machpiato, blue. All right, back up a little bit. Sha. Sha. Sapa, Sapa, Machpiatro, Machpiatro, Ritka, Ritka, there's that letter again, Ri, Ritka, Ra, Ritka, Pink, Z, Z, Yellow. <laughs> See, now that looks funny on the screen here. That's supposed to be brown. Ri. Oh, whoops, that's orange. Huh, looks funny on here too. Okay. Orange. Sha Z. Sha Z. So, let's do some review here. Sha. Sha. Sapa. Sapa. Machpiato. Machpiato. Machpiatro. See, I have it each one twice. Chitka, pink. Chitka. Z. Z. Sha Z. Sha Z. Ri. Ri, brown. Ska. Ska, white. Chota. Chota, gray. Stone. Stone, purple. Pejito. Pejito, green. Back up a little bit. Yeah, Shazi, orange. 
Ri, Ri, brown. Ska, Ska, white. I probably guess that one. Chota, I hope that looks Chota. Chota, gray. Stone, stone, purple. Peji, to, Peji, to, green. Okay, so I want to go back. By the way, stone. I kept seeing that color all over today, and I didn't know why. Apparently, I'm the only one that, that didn't know why because um, I'm not a I'm not a football fan. So I heard that um, what's the team, the Vikings, that uh, they're going to the World Series though. So I think they made a hole in one. All right. <clears throat> now, so Shaw. I think amongst the Ocheti Shakuni, pretty much everybody says Sha for red, okay? And Sapa. I think we all say Sapa. Now, when it gets to blue, <clears throat> um, this is what, what so, Ehanach Chi Dakota Oyateki, blue and green. You hopped kawichoya when you had do hoppy to ugapche. So in the old days, the Dakotas had blue and green, but it was just one word. It was to, like your big to, to. But there are uh, ways to differentiate now. So, um, you know, but we don't have like periwinkle and fuchsia and mauve and, um, uh, I don't know, scarlet and things like that. Uh, there are a couple other colors that I was going to mention, but they're really, they're used for names. They're typically used in names or, or ceremony. So I'll just, I'll leave those out. <coughs> um, cause we don't really look at something and call it that. But anyway, um, so machpia to, machpia, machpia is the sky or cloud. Okay. So blue, like blue, like the sky is the is the Dakota thought for that's blue okay uh, pink I've heard just like blue I've heard a bunch of different words for blue I've heard a bunch of different words for pink I'm just gonna stick with the the one how they say it here in Minnesota Makoche Chitka Chitka okay so there were a few other variations uh, like I said, I've heard, but I don't think they're really local. Chitka is, is pretty much it. Chitka for pink. Um, Z for yellow. I think everybody pretty much says Z. Okay. For orange, though, Sha Z. Now notice Sha. Sha is red. Z is yellow. And what do red and Z make? Yellow, <laughs> forgot the English word. That's not a bad thing. Um, they make orange, right? So really, it's it's a little uh, mixture there. Shazi, <clears throat> and actually some of the other colors they have names like that. They're colors that are mixed together, but it depends on where you go. Ask in your own community. All right, ri, ri. I think that is the same amongst all of us. I'll stop there. Um, ska, ska, there is uh, uh, another color, uh, song, but it's kind of off-white. That's one of those other colors I was talking about, really used more in names or, <clears throat> uh, chota, chota. That is, I believe that's the same amongst all of the Ocheti Shakuni. Um, sta, that one I've heard a lot of variations on. So purple, sta, but over here we just say sta. Um, a good word that that's in. Hastahanka, grapes, purple skin, and then whatever hanka is, hastahanka, purple skin, some purple people eater? No, okay, all right. Uh, and green, so grass is peji, peji, peji to. Don't, now, don't talk like Spiota language, Spanish language, and say peji to. Pejito, it's pejito. We chompi mi tawaki pejito. My shirt is green. That's not true. We chompi mi tawaki 
Sapa. My shirt is black, but if you were to say my, uh, let's see. Tetakuhe de wioa hechado. De wioa ki oato kachahe. De wioa ki pejito. So, what is this? This is a pen. What color is it? It is green. Okay. And, uh, oh, I don't have that on here. I'll have to, maybe I'll write that out. Owato kachahe. That's one way to ask what color is it. Taku owahe is another one I've heard, but again, I'm going by what I was taught, and I really do my best to stick with the Minnesota dialect here in this area. Owato kachahe. Owato kachahe. Um, <clears throat> so with color, there's how, what color was it made? Like if it was painted or uh, somebody used the color to make that, like a car or a book or a pencil or something or a wall. And then there's what color is somebody's hair or skin? And then there's what color was it painted? Okay. So I'll talk about talk about those a little bit. All right. So just one more time for review with the sounds so you can hear how these are pronounced. Sha. Sapa. Machpiatho. Chitka. Z. Just like the letter Z. Sha Z. Ri. Ska. Chota. Stone. Peji to. Okay. Now, with the colors, uh, there are ways to say light blue, dark green. Um, I won't get in. I won't get into those tonight. Uh, just trying. Just trying to stick with the basics here. Okay. Now, wanted to talk a little bit about um, transportation. Okay, on a very basic level. So, hetaku he, hetaku he. What is that? Hetaku he, he. Yechen kopte hechado. Hetaku he, he yechen kopte hechado. Hetaku he, hetaku he. What is that? He na popopeda hechado. He na popopeda hechado. He daku he. He wichashta itokshu hechado. He wichashta itokshu hechado. He daku he. He wata hechado. He wata hechado. He taku he. He watakia hechado. He taku he. Again, he taku he. What is that? He watakia hechado. That is an airplane. Okay. He taku he. He taku he. He chemani hechado. He chemani hechado. He taku he. He. Why I talk to Hechado? He, why I talk to Hechado? He taku he. He taku he. He na ich ihamihama Hechado. He na ich ihamihama Hechado. He taku he. He itok to Hechado. He itok to Hechado. Let's see. So let's go through that again. Talk just a little bit about them. So aside from um, aside from boat uh, and motorcycle, we didn't have these before Washichus came here. That's a joke. We didn't have motorcycles. Maybe like Gilligan's Island motorcycles made out of bamboo. Yeah, stood Okay, so. 
<clears throat> so um, I want to say a little bit about, uh, aside from boat, you know, I was joking, but I think aside from boat, none of these things we had before. So I had to come up with new words. And on the topic of new words, that there, there are some speakers. There are some first speakers who are not for creating new words in the Dakota language. And I, I mean, I've I've heard their reasoning and and I understand it, but I just I, I just want to share a story. I went to a um, language program, I'll say one time, and uh, there was uh, an elder working there, uh, first speaker. And another speaker came out and said, um, said, you know, some of the language I'm using here tonight, Dakota Dokara apps a computer. And this elder, he kind of looked at her and he was, he kind of got, um, uh, he appeared, he seemed upset and he said, we don't say computer. We just say, hey, computer, hechado. You know, we shouldn't be putting new words in the language, you know, where we're, he actually said we're bastardizing the language. And I was sitting there like watching this happen. And <clears throat> it was very interesting. I, I always love to hear uh, speakers uh, take or uh, philosophy on the language um, I'll, whenever I get a chance. And you should too. Um, strong, strongly recommend it. But anyway, this uh, female that, or this lady that, uh, person that asked him said, well, shouldn't, we shouldn't we have a word? And he said, no, I just said you can't be changing the language. It changes the language. You cannot be putting new words into the language. Don't be doing that. Don't try and change a language, all these modern things. And then, and <clears throat> she she didn't get upset or anything. She said, oh, oh, huh, what not doki daha? She said, oh, okay, where are you going now? And he said, yechinkopte and I had to not laugh. So this man who was this first speaker, who was very passionate about not uh, using, you know, taking newer things and putting them in a language, actually used a newer word. He said the word for car. She said, where are you going now? And he said, I'm going to the car. And I was like, so no on computer, but yes on car. I was uh, I was puzzled. So anyway, just something to think about. But uh, these words that I'm that uh, I'm going to review here for the for these vehicles, you have to. I always like to picture when Dakota people first saw one of these. What were they thinking, and how did that solidify into the word that we have now? And also, this is uh, the dialect here. This is the way that these things are said here in this area here. Bedeota Otoe Diche, the Twin Cities, Minneapolis, uh, Eastern uh, Minnesota, uh, Dakota dialect, uh, mostly. Um, but check in your community because they might say some of these things differently. And um, I know for a fact some of them do, like this one. You know, Yechinkopte. What is that? That's a car. That's a, it runs on its own. Does that sound like Stephen King movie? It runs on its own. Okay. Christine, that movie Christine, that was That was the real deal. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so. Napopopida. Um, Na popopida. That's um they make it they make it go pop pop. That's that popo. It's actually was that automatopia. Na popopida. It's uh they make it go pop pop with their feet. Okay. All right. This one. <clears throat> this is another one. Itokshu means it's a it's a transporter. Wichashta is man. Wichashta itokshu. Man transporter. It's a bus. And <laughs> again, I always like to think about when the Dakotas first saw these things, like car, you know, there were no horses pulling it and they're like, it runs on its own. 
Or this one, they described it, you know, you make it go pop with your feet. But this one, uh, you know, I was like to picture, you know, the early part of last century, you know, all these men, you know, because typically that's what it was back then was, you know, the, the workforce uh, was visibly more men going to work. But the Dakota seeing this this vehicle with all these men in it transporting them, you know. So, again, this one has some different names. I, I won't mention them right now. Check in your own community. Wata. Hetaku, hewata, hecha, chawata, hecha do. That's a, a dugout. Those men there are making a dugout canoe. Okay? Wata. So out of the vehicles I'm talking about here, this one, of course, we had before uh, Washichu came here. Um, washichu did hipshniyached. Wata. Uyuhapika hena. Uh, we had those and we made them. So, and uh, just a little mnemonic device. Wata is boat. Where does the wata go? It goes in the wada. The wata goes in the wada. That's a joke. No? Not ready for it. Okay, we'll move on. <clears throat> this one, out of all of these, this is my favorite word. Okay? Hetakuhe. He watakya hechado, watakya. So again, look at the look at that that first word there. What is that? I'll tell you, kya is to fly. So in Dakota, it's a flying what? It's a flying boat. Again, think of ehanachi Dakota ki hena. Uh, what were they thinking when they saw that the first time? It's a flying boat. That's my favorite one. I think it's also funny too. All right. Chemani. Chemani. Train. Hetaku he. Um, this is a toy train. If you want to say toy uh, with many things, you say kahapida on the end. Ga, not ga with a G, but a soft K. Ga, kahapida. Chemani kahapida. That's a toy train. It's man, it's man-made. I mean, so is that, but or hey, we got the hechado. That's a toy. But chemani, che. <clears throat> so when you see the top of a ridge or a hill or, or a mountain, that's che. Che. And then mani is to walk. So again, think about the old time Dakotas. And when they first saw <laughs> this big thing going up a hill, going up, right? Or going on the ridge, he daku he. And then they talk about it amongst themselves. And Chemani, it walks, it's a ridge walker. A ridge walker. Walks on the ridges. So, all right. This one. Why I talk you. Why I talk you. Wayawa is to, is to study. We've talked about that word. Wayawa. Wadawa, he? How wabadawa do? Do you study? Yes, I study. Wadawa he? Do you study? How? Wayawa he? Does he or she study? How wayawa do? Yeah, he or she studies. So it's wayawa itokshu, just like wichashta itokshu, transporter, man transporter. <clears throat> wayawa itokshu, student transporter or studier student transporter we'll just say that why i talk you it's a contraction why awa i talk you why i talk you okay now go why i talk you king de what color is the bus why i talk you king z the bus is yellow okay now each ihamihama that one's pretty cool in two what does that actually mean? Na ichi hamihama. Na typically <coughs> has a couple meanings. 
is something that's done with the foot or something that just happens. In this case, though, it has to do with the foot because of the pedals. Each E, you do it to yourself or you do it for yourself. Hami hama is to is to roll. Okay, so in this case, you make yourself roll with your foot. They make themselves roll with their foot. Naichi hami hama. Itokshu, a transporter, a truck. Itokshu. Itokshu. Okay, so just to kind of do some review here, go back to the beginning with the colors and then talk about the vehicles. <coughs> just so you can hear some of the language. So, Sha, Sapa, Machpiatro, Ritka, Z, Sha Z, Ri. Ska, Chota, Stan, Pejito, Hetakuhe, He Yechenkopte Hechado, Yechenkopte Ki He Oato Kachahe, Yechenkopte Ki Chota, Yechenkopte Ki Oato Kachahe, what color is that car? Yechenkopte Ki He Chota Do, that car is gray. Na popo pedaki he oato kachaha. What color is that motorcycle? Na popo pedaki, na popo pedaki he ska ka machbiato ka sapa. Ska machbiato sapa. Na popo pedaki oato kachaha. What color is the motorcycle? Na popo pedaki he. Ska machbiato ka sapa. It is white, blue, and sapa, black. Which hashta itokshuki oato kachahe? Which hashta itokshuki ska? Which hashta itokshuki ska? Ata ska is white all over. Ata, yeah, ata, okay. Hmm. <clears throat> A little bit of review again. Hetaku he, hewata hechado. What is that? That is a boat. Hetaku he, hewata hechado. Wata ki he owato kacha he. Wata ki he zi. What color is the boat? That boat is yellow. Hetaku he, hewatakia hechado. What is that? That's an airplane. Watakia ki he wato kacha he. Watakia ki he ska ka sha. Watakia ki he wato kacha he. Watakia ki he ska ka sha he. Do. So, what color is the airplane? It is uh, red and white. Hetaku he, he chemani hechado. What is that? That's a train. Chemani ki he oato kachaha. Chemani ki he chota sapa kaska. What color is the train? The train is gray, white, and black. Hetaku he, he waiai tokshu hechado. What is that? That's a bus. Waiai tokshu ki he oato kacha he, waiai tokshu ki he zido. What color is the bus? The bus is yellow. Oh, actually. Waiai tokshu ki he zik a sapa do. It's yellow and black. Just like a tuchmaha, a bee. All right. Hetaku he. He naich ihami hama hechado. We'll go to that one. Naich ihami hama ki he oato kacha he. Naich ihami hama ki he shado. What color is that bike? It's red. The bike is red. Hetaku he. He itokshu hechado. What is that? That's a that's a boom truck. 
that's a truck. Itokshuki <clears throat> here, uh, itokshuki here, or do it talks you can hear ska ka sha do. Ska sha ka sapa do. White, red, and black. That truck is white, red, and black. All right. Whew. All right, just a few things. Um, so that, that question I was asking, uh, what color is it? <clears throat> so last week, uh, when I was talking about weather, I talked about this word dokacha. Dokacha, what is the condition of it? What is it like? And de ampetu dokacha, he. De ampetu dokacha, he. What is the weather like? What is the day like? Same word here, dokacha. So we have um, Oa Oa Dokacha. What color is it? Now, if you want to ask, um, how, you know, how is it painted? We yumpi. We don't be dokacha here. And then again, the, the answer you just said, um, uh, you know, ska or sapa. What dokacha here? What color is it? Sapa. It's black. Sapa by itself, it's black. Sha by itself, it's red. Not just it's not just the color. It means it. It can mean it is. Um, hin hin dokacha here. What color is your dog's hair? Not oh, okay. My dog is brown. Okay. All right, and ha ha dokacha hair. What color skin does he or she have? You know, uh, so like if uh, African American, hasapa, hasapa, everybody says hasapa, black skin. Um, and now that's come to mean anybody of African American. Uh, descent who identifies on their own. Okay, but hardokachaha, naku ha sha. Like I suppose that'd be red, but yeah, ha sha, ha ri, ha sapa, uh, ha sapa, uh, ha ska. So, what color? So, what color is it? What color is it painted? What color hair? And what color skin? And was there another one? Hmm. Okay. All right. So I have a few minutes. Few minutes left here. <coughs> so that's that's for colors. So I'm going to put out a challenge this week. In fact, um, my wife and I are going to. So at the beginning of the video, I introduced myself. I'm going to do it again in a se separate video, and uh, I would encourage you to also do it and post it. So. Uh, again, figure out what I said in the beginning, but as a very basic introduction. And as Dakota people, when we go and we uh, we speak publicly, um, or sometimes it uh, we're at some fu social function or something, um, the things that I said there are some of the things that I would normally say at something like that, introducing myself. Okay, so all right, so those vehicles. Those vehicles still could. I'm gonna give you a last last thing here, and this will continue into next week. Okay. Don't could kid yahiha. Don't 
तो खिड़खिड या ही है हाउ डिड यू गेट हेयर तो खिड़खिड या ही है एंड देन व्हिच एवर वन ऑफ दोस व्हीकल्स सो समबडी आस्क मी यू नो आई वेंट टू अ कॉन्फ्रेंस और समथिंग तो खिड़खिड या ही है ये चिंकोपते ओ हनो वा ही दो आई केम इन अ कार or like some of my students on betuk te to kid kid ya hi ha how did you get here today night e hami hama o hana wa hi do okay unless uh you walked you're still going to use this wa hi so mani wa hi i walked here or some students <laughs> Yeah, when they come in, Ianka <laughs> Wahido, I ran here, but walked here, ran here, came in, came, you came by way of a vehicle. Chemani Ohena Wahido, I came by train. Watakia Oheni Wahido, Ohena Wahido, I came by airplane. Okay. Dokud kid ya he he, dokud kid ya he he. I remember um the first time I was asked that by speaker he said don't could kid you, we were at a meeting don't could kid ya he ha <laughs> I started to tell him basically my life story oh you know at the way many wa ka hit you up they had had on a loop uh you know like chi u ka uh many so to and I was telling him you know oh my my parents are from Fort Totten uh and then they moved here and then they had me and I was I thought he was like like how did you come to be here but he was just why well, i finished talking for about 5 minutes and he said oh what's that do me yechin koptel hena wa hi do no it's like oh shucks <laughs> he said oh okay yeah uh me uh, i came in a car here <laughs> uh all right um so that's it for uh tonight now what i'm going to do <clears throat> last week i so i'm going to put this on here again this is my email and i'm going to go to uh google hangouts and let's see um you can either email me or i don't know if you go to hangouts or what and find me but i know like when i chat with if i have to talk to a student uh we just go to google and we do a hangout thing so i'm going to start one but um can i know last week i called it let's see we'll just call it that the uh, a code yapi or let's see hmm well let me finish here and I'll go over google we'll see what happens and i might post something on the this uh facebook page too but anyway uh hinakshado that's that's it dokshita akewa chiankapikido see you see you all again